So we've got a circle and we've drawn two radiuses, one on this side and one on that side. And if we connect that up to make a triangle, this bottom line here, any line that isn't a diameter or radius going across a circle is called a chord, then you get an isosceles triangle because you've got two sides which are the same size. In an isosceles triangle, you'll recall if you've got two sides the same size, you've also got two angles the same size, which means we can solve problems involving that. Example one. So we have to work out the size of angles A and B. So the first thing we we'll always do is we identify our centre, which is here. I'll call that O. And we identify the lines which are the same, which you can just note with dashes. So those two are the same, which means those two angles down here are the same. So we've got straight away that A is 40 degrees because of isosceles triangle. And then angles in a triangle you know add up to 180. So we've got 40 plus 40 equals 80, so B must be 180 minus 80, which equals 100 degrees. So example two, we have to calculate the size of angles A, B and C. This time you'll note we've got a triangle, and we've got we've drawn it into the diameter. So again, the first thing we do is look for the lines that are going to be the same size. There's our centre, so there's a radius, there's another radius, so those two are the same which means B and C are going to be the same at the end. But I don't know A yet, but I can work it out because angles on a straight line add up to 180. So A, to start with, equals 180 minus 105, which is 75 degrees. And now that I've got A, I can work out B and C because angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I've got 180 minus 75, takes us back to 105 and since A, B and C are the same B equals C which equals 105 divided by 2 52.5 degrees and there we've got all our angles Example 3 Find all the missing angles and I've only given one so we we'll always start in the same way Identify our centre of our circle, call it O, there it's right here. Identify our radiuses, there's one and there's another one, so they're the same. We've got more down here, there's one, there's another one, so they're the same as well. And then we can start, so we now know that these two angles up here are the same size, because you've got an isosceles triangle, and these two angles down here are the same size, because you've got an isosceles triangle. So I can just note in 35 degrees. I can work out the missing one here by doing 110, because angles are triangle up to 180. Opposite angle, angles that are vertically opposite each other are the same size, so that's 110. So we've got 35, and we've got 35 up here, a little bit of symmetry. Okay, here's a little task that you can do to just to practice this. You can pause the video here and come back for the answers in a moment. Just a little note on one of them, this one down here. That is not the same as example three, that's why we've been giving you this angle here, because they are not vertically opposite. That's only true when it's straight through, straight through. They have different lengths. So just be aware of that when you do that question. And here's all the answers. I'll zoom in so you can see them. So there's the first one, nice and easy, angles in a triangle. Then there's question A and B, question C and D, and then moving down to question 3, that should say 50 here. Notice this one, completely separate triangles, but you've got your radiuses there and there. That's a right angle. They're all the same, so 60 each. Hope you managed all that on the angles in a triangle where you make an isosceles triangle. Hope you managed to give that a go. If not, just send me a message or look through the video again and see how you get on. Hope you managed all that on the angles in a triangle where you make an isosceles triangle. Hope you managed to give that a go. If not, just send me a message or look through the video again and see how you get on. This has been Claire and Maths. Stay safe, take care, goodbye.